What's up, everybody? Back at it one more time with another video. Decided to go on ahead and show y'all a little editing. <sighs> so I'm in the surveyor mode. Um, man, you can actually survey this. Admit. Let me see where. Am I in surveyor mode? No, I'm not in surveyor mode. So I'm gonna have to go back out of here real quick. And then this is this is the wrong. I think I'm on the wrong screen anyway. Give me a minute. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm on the wrong screen. Let me see. Turn this one off. Let's see, give me a minute. Okay, that's game capture. And this is the display capture. So I don't know if the game, the display capture went out or what, but not gonna worry about it. But this is um. I'm gonna do try to do some editing on here. This is a map that hasn't been completed, so I'm kind of give y'all a little idea of how it works. I'm gonna go into a different um, setting. This is just only for the trains right here. That's if I wanted to like quick drive, so I don't want to do that. I want to go to actually where the survey. So technically the name of this map is Santa Fe uh, Needles District. So go way back out of here. And we're not gonna save it. <clears throat> gonna go. This is where I should have went to create. Because technically that would have been quick job drive, but I think because it's not complete. Um some things missing on it so we're gonna pretty much try to fix some things on it while we in here now we are in the surveyor mode where we got all the little tabs on the side now so some stuff has been done and some things have not been done it's been a minute it's been a long time really since I actually did this kind of stuff um, so we're gonna go let's see all right that's mainly where you actually want to um, create heels and stuff like that we're going right where the paint is so I'm gonna kind of show you all each tab so y'all can see each tab they have objects that you can add and whatnot So technically, all the all the um, train games, a lot of them have that feature where you can actually um, survey, do the surveyor mode, where you're able to um, add what you want. So this is I'm sort of very rusty. Because I haven't did this in years. I mean, I've haven't did this in, since uh, I've been see it, the current resident for about eight years. It's been about like, at least fifteen years. So, so y'all gonna have to just excuse my rustiness. All a lot of it is getting is sort of um, getting back familiar. A lot of this stuff is familiar still. So we see I'm gonna go so you add track. And these are the certain tools for the cameras, ruler, static. And this is if you wanted to um, I'm not sure what this one is. I don't think I actually got a chance to use this route layer backdrop. 
details. Not really sure about that one. This is mainly where your trains are. The locals. So you can actually drop your locals. That's why you kept seeing me drop locals in certain places. Because that I was in sort of a semi uh, surveyor mode. Where I can actually take stuff out. Add stuff in. Uh, things of that nature. So. So it wasn't like I was cheating or just doing stuff that I had no business doing. It's just, um, just weighing my options, kind of filling the game back in because I haven't played it in years. And um, haven't played this kind of stuff in years anyway. So all that stuff. Technically, all these things in the red, <clears throat> they're technically don't have discrepancy they either have errors or they have don't have the dependencies to actually help help that mod actually come come to life so um that's mainly what that's about but a lot of a lot of that stuff you have to pay for you know so i don't know if i may pay for it and i may not pay for it i don't know Yeah, but that's why I said some some editing stuff I was already touching bases on years ago. It's just that you get out of it, you know. And I was told if you get if you don't use your skill, you lose it. So you will lose it. I'll take that one. So I'm just setting that there, but you see how we have this right here. I can actually add to this. This is where the paint comes in. I can actually pick because see how the circle, and you can actually scale it to bring it down to the area that you want, and then you got the radius because you can actually stretch it out. Let's use an example, a perfect example. Let me see rocks, There's mountains, and then normally it'll tell you exactly what is what. So if I wanted to actually add a texture here, you see how that kind of comes around. So, but even if you make a mistake, it doesn't look that bad. You can actually add something to cover that up so we'll say if I, if I actually want some real real ground I can add that in there and I can you know, accompany it with something else and you have all kinds there's all kinds of textures you can add in yeah. and then you can actually scale it you scale it actually just use the one grid or you can cover a whole whole radius Let's see I'm trying to sort of remember all the things I used to do you can get the texture like if you want the texture of this right here you can actually click over here texture and it just found the texture so that's the text that's the actual texture SGT36 if I wanted to add finish this up I can or I can scale grid it or I can do it uh hit the whole route if I want to or I can um, select the area so and this is sort of something that my, I was trying to show my daughter um, one of my daughters that um, 
she wanted to be an art she wanted to be an architect so uh, this is mainly what you would be doing because a lot of it is not on paper anymore it's the computer you know and I mean I was doing I mean I was doing a good job with this stuff then I got out of you know I don't think I was really working at the time but um I still was game to you know, to, to learn and do more and things of that nature. So, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to bring this up. And you can actually. Click on it and it will fill all this in. Yeah. Now I think this is right here. Now this is the first because uh, when I was playing uh, Trains 2006, they didn't really. Now you can actually up. That's what where that's another little feature I was used doing. And you can actually jump the camera around, and cover all this up, and normally I would start off with green, like this, and that's the difference between playing console and playing. Uh, um, I think these are maybe cameras. I'm not sure. They may be cameras. Some of them may be cameras, and then some of them may be actual uh, triggers, or you can actually add triggers. It's a lot of stuff that where you can actually make the game. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this radius a little bit. Change this up a little bit. I think I think stand, stand, spin it right there. There we go. And you can cover this all up. And many maps I've actually came across where I was able to do this. And technically your basic your basic texture is either tan, is either the ground, or it's green. I normally so I go with the green or you can go with the brown I could have went with the brown that's probably what I'll go with because <clears throat> that's why I was able to use that texture and this this is a, a map, bad map at all right here this is something that I could use to actually add more um, more uh, industries in uh, and whatnot, and this is not that big. See, so it's technically scaled perfectly. It's not over oversized, so I kind of like this one because then I won't have to go all over the place trying to get this together. So, yeah. So. Now, technically, I could have just went on the head and let. <clears throat> now, I can save this so I don't have to save it. Or I can just. I could have just um, clicked certain areas where it wouldn't overdid it. So, if I don't, if I don't want it to. Um, if I don't want, want this. I can undo it right here. Now I don't know how many undos I can do. I think I can do a whole lot. See, I can undo all this, but I didn't do it already. And I'm only doing this because I didn't really want to cover all this up. I rather technically leave some of this in because that's 
that's part of the texture that I want. So I'm just showing y'all sort of you have plenty of options when you're when you're doing this. And this technically will give you an idea of what it is which you can use. Um I don't know if they actually put this here for somebody to actually start I mean to actually use to finish this uh map up. <laughs> And then some of you just like I said, some of your maps are complete, and then some of them are not. You know, I've always liked it to go above the rules and create my own content. You know, create or create my own uh, theme, theme or whatever it is I wanted to create. Uh, the way it's set up, the way the map is set up, is nice. And it's perfect for what I want to do. I mean, if I wanted to just roll, you know, uh, just go with this train, or I can pass some trains in here. I don't know what industries do I have in here. I'm gonna look in here and see. Probably don't have any in here. So let's see. And then you have your settings right here. It will show you. Um, let's see if I can find. you can delete missing assets you can merge the route I used to merge route route routes connect my routes together put other maps together this a lot of this stuff is is memory you know it's, it's in my memory I, I remember a lot of stuff I used to do and let's see you can add uh, random scenery um, edit the environment Oh, some other stuff that I wanted to do. Let's see, I I'll probably go with a brown. And there was a way that I actually could pick, could cover the grid without actually covering the grid. And I think it may be right here. Select area. Let's see. I'm not even sure. Let me see. Fill the grid. And you can actually see the anywhere in the route. So, if I wanted to, um, let me see what else would I instead of me actually um, <clears throat> covering all this up because I like sort of like where the texture is, and I'm sure everyone else should like that because that's part of the ground or the dirt and then you got the grass and then you got a little mountain stuff so what I would normally do let me see if I can find it's brick rubble that ain't what I want I want sort of mountain or something like this to actually um, cover this this area right here we'll say I want to cover this area but I want to change the radius just to make it look so. Um, but what I want to do is, because technically you're just like a company, or you kind of complimenting. That's what that's the word, complimenting this area. Now this is a truck. Is that a truck? Is that a mole truck? I remember those. And this thing actually got smoke coming out of it. Let me see. That's what I was looking for to see if I actually, because I used to put these trucks. Yep, that's the mo truck. I used to have these on my, um, because you had some that actually driven. And these, let me see if I can find that. You technically supposed to be able to find any thing on here. Tools. Let me see. They call it a mo truck. I don't know why they call it that, but maybe you might have to tell, explain to me. Cause I never really knew that's what that was, but I respected what it was because. Okay, now go get object right there. So if I press that, get the object, then it's gonna pop up. See, here go the high rails right here. I knew I had them in here somewhere. I just couldn't find them. So, like, here's the high rail trucks. 
so you can put them in here and I used to add them in here you can add them right here I used to add these on on the route so you got all kinds of high rail trucks you can't drive them unfortunately but they're always nice to have you know so I knew I had them somewhere I just couldn't pick up, figure out where they were now one thing I wish I could do is add these onto the trucks I mean onto the to the um, on the train but I don't think they actually thought about that but it, you know yeah so back to what I was saying let me see I'm gonna try to see if I can actually find a good enough texture to complement me come some of this is rocks see that's why I said some of the texture is already there and I don't really want to uh, disturb what's already here because I sort of like what's here already and I forgot how what what button it was that let me see so scale build a grid I think this is it this may be it right here this may be it right here there you go so you can feel the grid and you see how I just filled the grid and I just did that on purpose so you can see exactly what I was talking about um, but all this you can scale it like I would scale this to to be some kind of stone or kind let me see not concrete but some of these things actually has the um, see the rock cliff, and this is sort of tricky to use because you got to kind of, and I, I I don't know how I managed to do it, but I was doing pretty good when I was doing it at the time. I can't. <laughs> get a grip on it now because it's been so many years that I did it and I mean just to just to really get into this and then you can scale it I mean you can make it look more um, authentic as much as you can but technically like we'll say I'm gonna use this as an example right here <clears throat> so I'm gonna scale this down I'm gonna bring this radius thing down so I can kinda overlap the texture or whatever it got patchy grass so if I want to put patchy grass and then you have different uh, 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 textures or paints from other other uh, other games like this is for um, Train Simulator tw uh, uh, 2009. So, and you can use it to accompany it. And it's just a lot of stuff that you can do. You have to kind of sort of experiment with it. Because this, I mean, it can be. Uh, um, very time consuming, but. You know, but. So you got the rocks. So some of the textures you got to really look at. So they don't look kind of. Uh, not look uh, up the part so I mean I'm trying to trying to explain it the best way I can I don't know if <laughs> y'all kind of really understand what I'm talking about but like is like these rocks right here now this is pretty much what I was talking about like this would be rock 
right here. So, so it's just not as easy as you think. That's why I said modding is not as easy as you think. And I'm not going to just say I didn't know what I was talking about because I did, you know. And normally, now I did it more in this sector than any other sector. You know, I'm sort sort of still learning stuff about other games, but we can actually make this rock like this. Move that over a little bit. <clears throat> so hopefully you're learning something, because that's what it's about. Life is all about that learning. And you never know what you can get out of you know applying you know and I'm trying to sort of cover these areas where there where is a gray grid you can get get real close if you want so like fins is that And I think you can actually save. I just haven't did this stuff in a, in years, man. It's just, but it's still familiar. It's just like riding a bike. I got a chance to ride my bike one day. It was a couple of days ago, and it was just like it's just like riding a bike. You know, once you once you learn it, if it you, I mean, you may go off track a little bit, but it's not that bad. And this is the thing that may be fun for me, and that's why I said a lot of people don't realize they're doing stuff and don't even know you're doing it self consciously. You know. Now this will actually I will actually make gray right here, just like here. All these and you can see where they can try to finish the job and they just couldn't I mean, I don't know if it was um based on when they built the map and sometimes maps are incomplete which helps you uh, learn how a map is supposed to be created and stuff like that like for instance I can get that and I got that texture so we got the asphalt right here which is now I can finish this up if I want make it look like it's supposed to look because you have the textures right there you just have to look look careful enough to see where the textures start I don't know if I'm gonna go with a full-fledged video of this but I always try to show what my talents as best as I can a lot of people would think oh you can't go oh, Mr. Croc you don't know what you're doing you don't know how to do this and how to do that and don't realize I've touched I've touched it <laughs> I've did it you know in my other you know when I was younger I was doing it because when you're younger you're around you're you have more time that's what I'm trying to teach my kids you have more time to learn more and do more but as soon as you start getting grown and getting older and then getting set in your ways you lose that you lose that I mean you seriously seriously lose it and it's sad, but that's the way it is. And you can't let that die out. You know, those little skills, a little, you know, especially when it comes down to work, your jobs and stuff like that. I understand you got to work or whatever, or take care of your responsibilities or whatever, but that's not the end of the world, so to speak. So, to really take time to get this right. I would have to go across here, make sure, and so like this texture right here, this texture would technically be the one that actually imp that actually accompany this. So we was already here, so I'll actually finish it up with this. Then you got some green right here, which is so it's a lot to it, you know, it's a lot to it, and that's dry grass. So you can actually finish this up with dry grass right here. I'm just trying to help y'all see how far, and I just, and, and I wasn't making fun. 
or just being funny but I, I mean I had to show y'all better than I could tell y'all because a lot of times people don't understand not unless you actually show them you have to show them just like I had to I looked at the post on Facebook one of my business partners actually had to be the example he, you know and a lot of times that's what people are looking for an example you know seeing is seeing is believing in some eyes it ain't always because uh it, it can't be done it's just that if they're if they're they, if the person wasn't taught those things or or they didn't see it as they grew up you know um they some a lot of times you come up short <clears throat> I come up short so i'm gonna change this because i want to go back to what i was using this But it's a lot of work. I mean, when you're scaling and you're <clears throat> yep. and I was doing this at 14, 15, 16 years old. I was still in school, but I would get on my my computer at a laptop. I paid a lot of them. I think it was maybe well, it was had to be in my twenties. This was in my twenties because I had bought me a laptop. That laptop ran me about eight hundred bucks, and that was technically the first time I really wanted to really get into gaming. Well, technically, I had another computer. I think I still have it, and that computer uh, was was technically my first actual gaming computer. I got it from Walmart. It was so funny. Uh, I paid, I forgot, I think I paid about 600 for it at the time, and it was the best they had. Okay, now you go to Walmart, now you can find a nice little decent computer, just, I mean, gaming computer now, you know, but uh, they're sort of smaller, you, you pay a little bit more for them, but, you know, if you can, if you can build you one, you build you one, that's what I always say, if you can build one, build it, if you can't, then you pay somebody to build it. You know if you can do it you know and that's all I try to tell anybody but a lot of times it's easier than you think because I started messing around and the funny thing about with me I grew up around computers I mean all through school I messed around with computers and never really took it as seriously as I do now you know just a, just a certain skill set yeah. So now I didn't got older now and I'm sort of not uh I've, well I think well I know what happened. I wanted to work so bad. And when I did want I wanted to I technically was in a trade. That's how I started. I was in a trade and that's that's where I mean I was I wasn't well off. You know, we we didn't have a whole lot when I was growing up, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. But at the end of the day, um, um, things wasn't like I wanted to be. But I need to I need to start making some moves, you know, for myself, you know, and for the future. I didn't know if I was going to get married. I didn't know what was going to go down. I didn't know what my future held. <clears throat> so. Um, and school was sort of boring. It was boring. It wasn't really boring, but it was just, um, they wasn't really showing me enough, um, to inspire me to do, you know. Um, uh, it was like we were rushed, and I know a lot of people can relate to that, because now, um, schooling now, they're more catering to people now, I mean, to the students more now, so often. Than, than they used to. Now, I was talking to my uncle, and we. It was a time that he was telling me that he had to stay at home. He had to be responsible because his, you know, his parents wasn't wasn't together and things of that nature. So he had to. And it, the same thing, you know. I'm sure everyone else has related to that because you know, one parent home could be both parents and it could be a discrepancy, you know, within the, within the within the structure uh, because 
um, it's just um, sometimes it happens like that so um, what I did well what he did I meant is he had he couldn't be at home you know now I was fortunate because uh, I still managed to get to school and I didn't have a lot of responsibilities as some did but I mean if it, it still affected me it made me more ambitious to do better you know a lot of times we don't we don't have a way out we don't have the examples of of how to do certain things and things of that nature and uh, <clears throat> and we, we, we neglect it you know and it's not our fault and it's not our parents fault it's just the way the generations have have gotten bad you know I don't give a care if it's color creed whatever it doesn't matter because at the end of the day it's all the same you know because now we at a point now we all suffering now so we are all in the same boat you might as well say we all one color now because of what we're dealing with and that proves that everybody's even um, uh, am I worried no because I have my hands I mean I have I'm more stable than I was uh, when I was a teenager um, than I was and I'm, I'm more knowledgeable now because I'm much older I have my own kids and I can and I, I, I pretty much have did the sacrifice of trying to help my kids understand uh, and be the examples for my kids excuse me just had to get a drink of water so I don't set the bar high but I set the bar high according to me myself because that's all I have that's all they have you know we talk about the future and talking about the kids our, our future but what are you doing about that you know the city had to be I mean the whole country had to be shut down why because of what the adults were doing it ain't because of the kids it's because of what the adults are doing and can't even blame the kids for what is going on because it's not their fault but they are they will be collateral damage because of that <clears throat> because we don't have enough sense and now I'm hearing this thing is about to get worse why because we still ain't got a clue on what it's about you know somebody uh, an individual is tired of the foolishness of, of, of man you know, you may not understand or may not really want to go into deep depths of that. It's fine. And I ref I, I don't I don't have even have the time for it, but you will know and understand in due time. You know, and hopefully, you know, it don't be too late <clears throat> that you that you figure this out. You know, because I know what it's all about and we getting a nice little whooping. <laughs> That's all it is to it. You're getting a nice little whooping, and it would take the person that's giving the whooping, the individual that's giving the whooping, uh, to to take this off. You know, and it's sad, but that's just the way it is. It's just the way it is, and we have to respect that. As long as you respect that, I did too much of that. I didn't want to do all that. That's see now see how I'm able to re recover. Now I want to actually bring this down because of certain places I want to actually, you know, and this work. I mean, this is not just something that you just oh we just we just doing this and doing that. I mean, this in order for them to make this right, you got it takes it takes it takes work. You know, just like this is like trash or garbage or whatever. Just to get that texture, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually get that texture so y'all can see part of that texture. And then this is, I guarantee, you this, these are objects right here. So this maybe this is too time consuming for you. Maybe this is just too much for you. This is what I call relax, relaxing time because a lot of times I can be working. Now I had some work that be done outside. I went to go, went to breakfast, uh, ate good, had good conversation. I'm back at home, went to my uh, my job to see what was going on there, and 
and it was it looked it bad you know it looked it real real bad uh not on my part but on the future of of the establishment now am i going to survive yeah because i have that much confidence that i'm gonna survive i'm a survivor i've been surviving all my life because i have to i have, that's that's all i've had you know and in my in my uh, corner so um and I'm sure there's other people that are survival, survivors, survivors, um, it, and you know because it's out of, it's out of our hands. All we can do is ride the wave until until uh, this is we're released from uh, what is going on. Always want to say that oh well it's a conspiracy and this and that this and that this it's bigger than that. <clears throat> the thing about it is, I always say make your peace. You know, make your peace. You don't know what's going on. I just uh, I had another buddy of mine lost lost uh he lost his mother. Didn't even know it. I mean not until he started talking about it. And I looked at the obituary, and the funny thing about it, I've never been in the man house uh, before. Uh, at the time and he had a grandmother it was she was so funny she always thought we were mischievous and it was I wasn't mischievous because I was I mean I was still finding myself but I know she knew her grandkids were mischievous you know I was, I was always into something you know and you know you got to kind of be careful when you're always into something you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it can be a learn, left lesson learned in that. But at the end of the day, you wanna not be a troublemaker because just like we, we have a lockdown. I think it's a lockdown across the states now, and you know, it's a lot of people that still wanna go past that. I mean, I now I did go out for breakfast. I did go and take care of some business. Uh, we go and met family, and then I came, brought my tail back home. Why? Because I understand what's going on. <clears throat> now, the thing about it, if you don't want to be governed, then you, you, it would, it would bother you. You know, but the quiet as cup, we, we, uh, supposed to be governed a long time. We've been under that a long time. You know? Now, I'm gonna actually. We gonna route. We gonna ride this route. I'm gonna see exactly what this. Uh, I don't even know what these industries are. Cause a lot of times you won't be able to see them not until after the fact. Now, technically, this is. Oops, excuse me. Bump, uh, Mike. But this is where you got the gravel here. I don't know if that's gravel. That's blast. It's gravel. Now, I think you can actually. Oh, you can actually write in here. I forgot about that. So I can actually look up gravel if I want gravel. I think I can look it up. A lot of times, and this goes to show you how smart these games are. See, we just found we just found gravel. But I wanted gravel, but I didn't want the blast. But I wanted gravel. I wanted a torter. A, a, let me see. Sort of a railroad gravel. That's what I want. Let's see if we can find railroad track gravel. <clears throat> nope. Okay. So let's see. Integrity. That's track gravel right there. If you look at it, uh, it's 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 absolutely track gravel. Um, let me see. I want to scale this down. Keep bumping this darn mic. Okay, we scale it down. Now we can see where it's actually is. And I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna experiment with this a little bit. Yeah. So I used to just go like that with it. But um, I'm, I'm gonna have to probably look at some track to see exactly where, because normally there should be something where we can actually. I'm gonna go to, across here now. This is supposed to be a bridge, so that's something missing there. 
I don't know if it's actually there or not. We may have to just drive and see if, if anything actually, because uh, sometimes you can actually drive the train and it will allow you to actually see. Let's see. Oh yeah, quick drive. This is it right here. So you can actually put the tracks on and you can save it. <clears throat> I'm going to save it because I can take that stuff off. I don't care. So this is something new. We're going to put an edit, right edit in there. And I can put edit in there better than that. Also, I did a uh, premiere. I was technically on my way out the door. That's why I sort of did that real quick. Plus, I got to use the restroom. I might have to use the restroom real quick. So I'm to get away from the uh, screen for a minute. All right, so I'll be right back. Give me a minute. actually got our train a locomotive we're gonna see what what I can pick either driving mode um, I don't know if I might drive pick whichever driving mode you want and I've gone ahead and used the more advanced so I, I didn't I always use the, the dial the dial is much easier because then you won't have to actually go through all that so let's see if we if there's any industries on here let's navigate so there so technically I have to actually put industries on here but I'm gonna go ahead and have him drive anyway Hit the horn. So that's this is something that a lot of people 
probably if you never really played trains the train games you probably never really paid attention to this stuff you know maybe it was just above your head but See if I can actually get the normally. Oh no, that's not it. Um, here it is. Cause there's some other. You can change the mode, camera mode. Also, here are the rules right here. You can actually. Oh, here they are right here. Where I can actually hide the navigation points. I can actually, uh, uh, the junctions, that's what I'm looking for. I forgot where the junction is at. Let's see. So you should be, should be getting ready to stop. Oh, he's going through. Okay. Maybe that's a tunnel. I don't know. Okay, maybe that is a tunnel. I don't know what that was, but the thing about it, it's a lot to it. And I'm probably going to have to get back in. That's why I said I need to get back into this. Because now I'm at that point where I'm willing and ready to learn more. You don't expand your horizon on what's out here. This is this is where you'll be, you know. Where you won't be able to to go in and do certain things and learn more, do more. Let's see, I'm gonna turn it off for a minute. I'm trying to find Oh here they are. High junction overlay. This is it right here. And you can show the, the vehicle's names too. See? Vehicle names actually pop up. I know I remembered a lot of this stuff. Okay, now we're gonna bring the junctions up. So you can hide. Now that's why you kept seeing the junctions. I don't even know if there's any junctions that popped up. You may not have any around here. I'm trying to look to see. There's gotta be a junction somewhere. These are junctions right here. Now probably the reason why now the train may derail. Let's see. Okay, it didn't derail. And the reason why there's no junction, watch this. I'm about to show you why there's no junction. I have to put them in there. That's why. <laughs> so they're not, it's just all, all this stuff is like in the back of my mind and I used to do all this stuff I mean I, it, was, it was so crazy before it, it, when I was it was way before I started working really working you know okay let's see stop this, this train. I'm going to see if I can go over here with one of these junctions at so I can show you how that works.
I think I might have did something wrong. I see in a minute. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, great. I knew it was supposed to went right back to the screen. Okay. Let's see. This stuff I'm gonna clean up because I don't like that. I don't like that texture. I should have just kept the green over here for now. Cause it looks sort of tacky. I must probably still put something over here. Why don't we go with this? I don't like that. It looks bad. I mean in my in my opinion. But you can make it green or whatever. I'll probably straighten it out later. Or if I decide to continue on this map. But it takes work. That's all I, I keep trying to tell you. It takes work. So the reason why we couldn't jump the junction is because there's nothing there. Well, once you put see track and here's your sick track side mode see here are your signals see all this stuff is coming back to me so now we're gonna actually now those are already the markers are already in place see so you ain't even got to do that and you got the triggers to trigger certain things that you want to work to uh to, to uh like Fins will say, the trigger will actually be for something. Like Fins, if something come through the through the um, through your track, or you could or you could trigger, you can be your trigger. It don't always be, have to be the trigger. Something triggering it. It can be you triggering something. And you got track direction marker, priority, uh, invisible track bump. Uh, track uh, circuit detector and insulate an insulator so I'm not gonna deal with the markers right now because the markers are in place now, I can add more markers because there's already markers here but mainly what I wanted to do is add this right here now, I don't know if that's elevation I might have to elevate that right there because the tracks actually go up um, so it's just a lot now technically I can actually take that scale and actually put it over there or find out what that is and actually add it there or just elevate it where it it a clean I can technically do that now while we're here okay now you're gonna get a chance to see what the topology is all about okay so like for see if y'all can see under here you see how that's sitting up like that <clears throat> so to actually bring this up so we want to adjust the height right here so we're gonna bring it up we'll bring the radius down I don't want all of that being lifted up and you bring it up Oop, brought it up too far so technically and try to bring it down might have to flatten it out let me see high up high down there it is so you can bring it down and that's how you but what we want to do is we want to advance it and I think I remember advancing it before select the area and it's this is supposed to be able to heighten up uh, let me see if I can get it the plateau. I think this is it right here. This stuff is. See how you start bringing it up. And it should smooth out right about here. Let me see if it's smoothing out. Or maybe too far. I think I've got too much of it done. Let me see. That's why I think I just brought that up. Okay, I'm going to have to fix that. I'm going to have to uh, undo it. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna bring this down, and I'm gonna bring the sensitivity down. <clears throat> this is where it gets real touchy right here, and I might have been doing it good. It's just that I probably got to start over here and do it. 
Yeah, maybe elevate this side first and go around. Well, some of this has already been elevated right about here. I mean, you got to really use your keyboard uh, skills. I'm not that good with this keyboard, but I do pretty good with it. Okay, add ground. Let's see if we can add ground right here. Okay. See, this will transform the, the section to the current grid size. This actually cannot be undone. Okay. Uh, so you can actually put a mountain hill. see used to know this stuff real good I can't <laughs> I'm trying to get it together it's been a long time long time okay and we can plateau it. Oop. I think we're doing too much. Let me go back. That's the I like that's the thing I like about um the undo. But you only can you only can undo so much. <laughs> so let's see, I'm at the try to because it's covering my tracks now. Let's see, remove water, you can add water, you can do the height, let's see, add ground, delete ground, let me see if I can delete some of this ground right here, oh, nope, I don't want to do that now, a lot of stuff I didn't got out of, <laughs> I used to be able to make mountains and all this stuff. I got away from it. Got a lot, got a lot, got a, And that may be the end of the line. I don't know. It may be the edge of the map itself. Not sure. But we'll, we'll, I mean, you pretty much understand what I'm talking about, I guess. If not, then we'll, we'll start. Well, I mean, we'll get a chance to probably get into it more often. If I get a chance to really get into it again. Because um, it's just a lot to do. And now, now you kind of see why I just play the game. <laughs> it's just, it's just so much, you know, to be done. And I'm not, I'm not knocking anybody else that does it, because if you know how to edit, or you like to edit, or you like to tinker with stuff, or make things um, a little bit better, then you do that. Yeah, you know, but I like. I mean, a lot of the stuff I don't, I've gotten out of it. I'd rather play the game <laughs> than do all the editing stuff if I can help it. Uh, we're gonna go back to the tracks. So the signal should be right about here. Let it go let it back up. And you can actually set it techly and it should set right where you got to pretty much sit it right. Let me see if I can sit it right in the right place. Let's see what other ones they got here. And then you can get closer to them to the parts. So you can see exactly what is what. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna go back up here. And I'm just gonna put it here. Let's see if I can add it there. There. That's signal. That's the signal. And I think the junction, how can I get the junction? Let's see, where's the junction? Is that? I thought they were all in here to be able to switch the track. I can't find it. And 
mean, I used to add bridges and draw bridges and things of that nature. It was it was fun when I did it. But it's just now it's just you know, it's now I'm kind of getting into it and I mean, it's fun if I decide to get into it back into it, but yeah. We got cars. Visible. Let me see. I'm trying to see. I used to know where a lot of this stuff is. I can't find it. Let me look on here again. Nope. It's not in there. Where is it? Let me, see. Let me look in the tracks. Uh, yeah, because you got to be able to switch. Switch. Um, and that's mainly why I was kind of showing y'all within the uh, within the map that you start seeing junctions and stuff like that because you can't have a signal without the junction if the junction isn't there then you can't switch tracks so some of the stuff I touch bases on um and it's just a lot. It can be a lot if you allow it to be. But you know, I always say, live life to the fullness. Okay. If you want to go the whole mile, you then you do that. That's all I tell you. Just do that. Maybe right here. I don't know. No, it's not right there. These, this is probably it right here. Signals. Nope. I can't remember. I can't remember where is that. Can't remember where is that. And I used to know where it, where it was. I thought it would have been in the tracks, wherever the tracks are. Let me try to go into the advance. Okay, spindle height. So you, and that's how you actually figure out where things go. Tra get track condition. Wow, can't get it. I can't figure out where. The junction is. I don't see it on here. Let me see something. Can I go to the map? Probably can't go up. See from a distance. Let's try to go up. I want to see something. Let it show us. Nope. It show us. What I might have to do. I used to know where this stuff it was. I just can't remember. <laughs> just can't remember. It's it's got to be in here because you got the signal right here, and the junction stuff should be in here. Let me see. Okay, cannot add object as the current select uh, selected layer signals is locked or hitting. Okay, I guess I, I guess I, was, according to what they were telling me, I wasn't even really trying to look at that. I want to look at something else. There we go. And why I can't see the junction right here? Well, there's a signal there. I thought the junction actually pops up. But I don't know why I can't find the junctions. Let me, look at, let me type this in. Junction. This may be it right here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I 
know that ain't the only place where the junction is. Uh, that's right. That's some. That's a junction body. That ain't what I'm looking for. I think it's called the switch. Let me go look for switch. I think we got it. I think that may be it. Switch. Hmm. Switch. Let's see if we can find some stuff that looks familiar. Okay, signal. That is weird. I can't find it. <laughs> I'll probably have to go into the game and actually uh, go into the and actually find it. I won't be able to find it now, but I have to find it next time I go in here. I'll show y'all where it's at. I'm still I've only been on this for a couple of days, so. Yeah, we got a chance to really get out, get out here, and really put in work. Junction, the tracks. Yeah, that's the reason, and that's another reason why we can't switch tracks. Cause I can't find. So. Okay. I don't worry about it. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go on and cut off. Hope y'all gained something, learned something, whatever. I wanna, didn't want to make it too long because uh, this is sort of boring. All right. Catch y'all on the next video. Crack 342 out.